Hi guys, Wizman500 here, back with another video. Hope you guys are enjoying Lure Review Month or Fishing Review Month, whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys are watching all these videos and enjoying them. Um, and if you're uh, just tuning in, um, I've got lots of videos already out there. Go check them out. I've got them in a playlist and everything. So they're all there. Go check out the channel page and hopefully you'll find everything that you're looking for. Um, in that sense, but for right now we're going to talk about something that this might surprise you and it might not But I actually enjoy fly fishing quite a bit um, I haven't got any videos out there about fly fishing But I do do quite a bit of it and the reason is I haven't done any videos on it is because I'm not really that skilled <laughs> I'm not really that good at it yet. I just kind of started and I really enjoy it. I really got into it and uh, I've got a few favorite flies for brook trout and I kind of just wanted to show you just to give you an idea of, of the area that I fish and whatnot. just some favorite flies of mine that I like for trout fishing um, we're talking brook trout here the main um, time of year that I catch brook trout is right around um, May May getting into June that time frame um, I do catch quite a few trout in that time frame and then also uh, the first of the season as well. So I'm just going to show you a couple uh, couple flies that I like to use. Here's one. This is one that's kind of coming apart on me. Um, but it is a great lure. Or a great lure. Jeez. Here I'm, I'm in the mode of fishing review month. Sorry. But this is um, a fly that I like. As you can see it's got kind of a red little... A uh, touch of red in there and a little bit of yellow on the top and it's got a smaller size hook with a little wrap there but as you can see the hair is coming out of it pretty bad um, but this is one that I definitely use a lot um, I'll show you another one this is another one that's pretty haggard looking but it's one that I love to use I love using these yellow flies the yellow is uh, is really iconic to me it's one that I use a lot so yeah you can see that I've used that one quite a bit um, I don't know all the patterns, what these flies are called. I just use them and go with them. I don't tie flies or anything. So I don't know all the names to all these flies. But go research it a little bit and uh, you'll find what you're looking for. Um, let me just, I'm just looking at my box here. Just trying to find a few that I like, I use this year. Once again, getting, keeping with the yellow, the pattern of yellow. Here's another favorite of mine. I think this is a dry fly. I really like that one, that color there. You can see that yellow, that yellow pattern with the little brown and the tail there. Smaller sized hook. I really like that lure. Like I said, yellow is a big color for me when I'm choosing flies and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm definitely attracted to yellow just because I caught, catch a lot of fish off yellow. Um, just surfing through my flies here right now. Here's one that I caught quite a few on this year. And you'll see me use this one in the future. This is more of getting into the blue. The blue pattern. Very nice. I really like that blue. Um, it's got a little bit of line on there. i got to trim that off and whatnot. But that is really nice with the little red tail. Just a slow, steady um, pull off, pull on the line. And that works out really good. Whoops. So that's another one that I really like. Um, here's another one. This is kind of a reddish color. Not one that I've used a whole lot, but I really like it. So here's a yellow. Kind of the same thing as this one, except it's got actually more like this one, except it's a red. So that's a color that I really like. I really like that color um, and that pattern of fly. Also brown. I really like fishing brown. Here's one that I like. <clears throat> I'm just showing you the flies that I use. I don't know what they're all called and everything. But there's one there. You can see it's kind of got like a bumblebee pattern on it. I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea what all these flies are called. Pull these out of the way. But that's one that I use quite a bit. Um, here's another one. I think these are, they call these mayflies. I don't know. They work really well, especially in May. So. As you can see, it's got some white in it, some brown in it. Very nice. I really like that one. That's a nice fly. Uh, I'm not really into orange a whole lot, but the, here's one that I really like. I want to kind of try this one out. It's kind of different looking, so it might work. I don't know. I've got some. I know some people who are really into fly fishing, and they're probably laughing at this video right now. 
But yeah, those are just a couple flies that I like. Um, like I said, I've got quite a few brands here. Here's another brand with the red tail. Yellow, uh, yellow body there. But as you know, I like brown. Let's just take a little look into my tackle box here. Let me just put away the flies that I've been showing you so far. And you'll, you'll get my drift when you see all the flies that I get in here. And I'm going to organize this decently well anyways. Um, pull those out of the way and then we'll zoom out here. Here's my tackle box full of flies. I've got a couple leaders up here as well. That's just a Fenwick leader tapered. That's a nine foot, six pound. And then I've got this Crystal River one. Just a cheap. This is one that I was in the the box in the Canadian Tire I just picked up. That's a nine foot, five pound leader. So there you go. That's just a couple liters that I throw in there. Here's the orange or orange pattern. Like I said, I want to try those out. And uh, I moved all the all my flies to this this style box, the 3600. I'll do a separate video on the 3600 series tackle box tackle boxes. But as you can see, I've got them all organized pretty much by color. I see I got some darker ones there. Actually, I think these ones are dual hooks. Yeah, those are the dualies that I got. Um, those are a couple of random ones. Got some black ones down here. This is the yellows and stuff, the darker yellows. Got a couple. This is a floater here, or a strike indicator. Haven't really used it a whole lot, but it's in there. That's just some random yellow, yellowish colors, yellow mix. Got some reds, some oranges, um, some darker colors, more darker colors. Like, I've got all kinds of flies here. These ones are leaders, flies that I have leaders with. Um, just brown and red, or uh, blue and reds, and some other different colors mixed in. I've got some, this is red and white. So, yeah, I, I kind of organize it in that sense. The only thing that I find is that with these leadered ones here, it's kind of a pain. And then these are just some brown ones down here. But I already showed you my uh, the flies that I like. But those are just a couple. That's how I organize my tackle box, and those are just a couple more flies that I uh, that I kind of gravitate towards. Like I said, I'm just getting into it. If you have any recommendations for flies I should try, please leave a comment down below. But those those are just a couple of my favorite flies, and a little look at my fly box to show you what's inside. So stay tuned, guys. Was Man 500 here? Um, you're going to see fly fishing in the future, and uh, you're, uh, hopefully we'll enjoy it. Like I said, my skill level is really low with fly fishing, but you'll, uh, you'll see it and maybe make a few comments on how I can improve. So stay tuned, guys. Wizman500 here. Thanks for watching. Uh, my favorite brook trout flies. So stay tuned.